Um, once you have the scanner on, you can go ahead and take your drawing and to put your drawing into the scanner. For our purposes, um, I'm scanning a larger image so that I can show you about how to put the image together in, as the separate pieces that you've scanned into the final product that you will have. And I'm going to import all of these scans into um, a new file that I'm going to make my po photo positive from. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to New. And um, the size of my image is 18 by 24 that I have here. So I'll probably make my image a little bit larger. So the width would be, let's say, 25 inches. And my height would be, um, I'm going to make it 19. And what I want to do is to save it at a fairly high resolution. So I'm going to save it at 300 resolution. And I'm going to push OK. And I will now end up with a brand new palette to place my scans onto. The next thing that I want to do is to go ahead and to place my images into this new uh, larger image that I'm making. So what I'm going to do is to go to File, and I'm going to go to Place. And so if you look right over here, they're going to have my linear drawing 1 through 7. And I have one more to scan eventually. And I'm going to click that on, and I'm going to push Place like so. And at this point, um, I go ahead and place my image. And if your image is upside down, which mine is, I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to go down to Transform. And if you scroll down further, it'll say Rotate 180 degrees, 90 degrees clockwise, and 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate mine 180. Um, and then I'm going to drag my image down to a corner, like so. And bringing the mouse back over, I'm going to go to uh, the paintbrush, and it's going to say Place File, and I'm going to say Place. And you also are going to notice, if you notice right here, there's like a little corner that's not great with the mouse. There we go. The little corner that's here that says that the image has to be what's called rasterized. So I'm going to go ahead, and I just clicked directly onto the image, and I'm going to push OK. And now this part of my image is onto, on my new uh, image, or the image that I'm going to be making the photo positive. And I'm going to repeat this process um, until I have all of the parts of my image placed. So again, for the next part of my image, and I, when I scan them, I numbered them so I know the order. So I'm going to File, Place. And it will bring me directly back to my little house where I'm scrolling down. And I'll find Part 2 and click on part two, and it will place that right next to what I just did. Um, the next thing, and again, remember last time I went ahead and I went to transform, and then I rotated it 180 degrees. And the next thing that I want to do is to try and match these two pieces up. And so I'm um, going to look and see if I find any overlapping parts. Please let there be some overlapping parts. OK, and if you look really closely, you'll start to see where at these two ends these overlap. Um, this next part can be a little bit tricky, because what you want to do is to line these two pieces up together. So what I'm going to do is, right now, this is in normal mode, meaning that if I laid this right on top of the other one, one would overlay it, and I really wouldn't be able to see through it. But since I want to go ahead and line everything up correctly, what I'm going to go and do is go over to the Layers area, and I'm going to click down. And I'm going to go to Multiply, which will all of a sudden make the layer that is highlighted, which is Drawing 2 that I've just placed, transparent over the other image. So that all of a sudden, I can start to see where my images might overlap. And by eye, I'm going to try and line them up a little bit. And finding that a lot of times my scans are not always perfect, what I can do is by using the arrow keys, I can kind of move it over a little bit to get some of the parts lined up and at least equal with each other. And if you notice at the bottom, there is um, where you have the corners, you can also rotate the image a little bit. And so what I may have to do is to rotate my image to see if I need to line it up, or just see how I might be able to get it placed the best I can. Now, a lot of times once you rotate something, it might not be exactly what you want. So what you can do if you want is just go up to Edit, Undo. And it won't undo what you've done, but what it will do is just undo the rotation that you just did. 
And in some cases, what you also may find is that it's not lining up exactly perfectly. And I wouldn't worry at this point because there are other options for you to place your image exactly how you want it. But what you could do at this point is get it lined up as close as you possibly can. And again, I'm looking to see you know, are there, what parts are overlapping and how I'm going to get it exactly the way that I want it. And I'm looking at multiple parts of my, my image. And it's actually a fairly hard task to do. But right now, I'm kind of trying to line it up pretty much in this central area. And then I'm going to play around a little bit more with the other parts. So like I did before, I'm going to go to the paintbrush and push place. And I'm not done placing this yet, but just for the meantime to get it slightly lined up and rasterize my image. The other thing you can do if you want is just to make it larger so you can really see what you're doing, so you can zoom in on what you're doing. Um, and once I get it enough to my liking, what I'm going to do is go back. And you can just key on to any of the um, icons that are here. And I'm just going to push, I push the brush again, and I'm going to put apply on my image. At this point, I would go ahead and place all of the different parts of my image together. And I'm going to go back and go to a normal screen so that I'm not necessarily seeing through the different parts. You will notice, however, that there is some adjustments that you still want to make. So if you wanted, and again, this layer is still highlighted, I could try and move my image down a little bit. And hopefully, it's not going to throw things off, which it really isn't too much. Um, but I'm really trying to line up the parts of my image to the best that I can. And what I would do then is to go ahead and put all of my image together as I've done here.